I know why you're here. And unfortunately, the answer is no. We did not get auto dismantle blues. We shall discuss. But first, we're going to talk power caps for Witch Queen. Most people know how power, power cap, how they work. The floor is the lowest level an item can be. Right now, that's 1100. In Witch Queen, it's going to be 1350. So that's 20 levels higher than right now. The soft cap is when all gear sources stop being upgrades. You need to do powerful reward site activities for upgrades. Then there's the power cap where only pinnacle reward sites will upgrade you. And then there's the hard cap, which is just the maximum level for a season on your gear specifically. So you log into Witch Queen day one, you're going to be 1350. Everyone will be 1350 just so everyone can get up to speed. You don't need to grind to start playing the Witch Queen. The soft cap will be 1500. So that's drops from everywhere. Strikes, Crucible, Gambit, Campaign, random drops on the ground. Basically anything is going to get you to 1500. The power cap will be 1550. So when you hit 1500, only powerful reward sites will level you. Those random drops are, you know, not really going to be upgrades in the same way that they were. And then the pinnacle, or the hard cap, is 1560. So that's only from pinnacle sites, the raid, nightfall, trials, iron banner, so on. You know, how it's always been. That's your leveling guide for Witch Queen. I'm still going to make an individual guide because people search that stuff all day long on YouTube. But that's your preview for power levels. Okay, so blue items. Rare blue quality items. They're pure garbage after you hit a certain level in the game. People hate getting them. They clog your inventory. They push items out of your postmaster. We hate them. We want auto dismantle blues. We did not get auto dismantle blues. And I am like 99% certain that it is not out of malice, but probably a technical limitation of the game. If Bungie could give us the number one most requested quality of life improvement of the year, they probably would have done it. Blue Drops, quote, will stop dropping from playlist activities, that strikes, Crucible, Gambit, once players reach the soft cap, which is 1,500. Players above the soft cap will instead see a slightly increased chance at receiving legendary rewards from these activities or a small amount of legendary shards, end quote. Blues will still randomly drop from chests and enemies, but Bungie is hoping the reduction of blues will cut down on visits to the Postmaster or general inventory management. As long as I'm getting fewer item drops overall, I'll take it. End of playlist activities are definitely the biggest culprits of blues, so a lot of that volume is going to be completely eradicated, which is great. The blues that drop on the ground will still be a little bit annoying, but you can just dismantle them at the end of a strike or something. Not a huge deal. I think most people were doing that anyway. I think the biggest thing is just having fewer items, going to the Postmaster, potentially accidentally pushing out other items that you might have in there. So, you know, it's not auto dismantle blues, but it's taking a huge chunk of blues out of the world, and ultimately, that is very good. This change does have some implications for the advanced blueing up leveling technique, where you get a lot of micro upgrades, but we can talk about that another time once we know a little bit more. Bungie does continue to say that they want to take a look at what blue items actually mean for the overall game outside of expansions, but not to expect anything anytime soon. The Gunsmith will be getting a rep system like the other vendors in the tower, which means certain items will be getting removed from the game, namely Gunsmith materials, and more importantly, the most worthless, trash, garbage, idiotic item in the game, weapon telemetries. You will now earn Gunsmith rep when dismantling legendaries or exotics, or by doing bounties. Gunsmith materials and weapon telemetries will be removed from inventories automatically on February 22nd, so purge that stuff from your inventory right now, or it's gone. Go check out my video on Gunsmith material god roll weapons if you're wondering what weapons to look out for while you purge your materials. Also being removed are mod components. Starting with Witch Queen, weapon and armor mods are just going to cost 10,000 Glimmer, and Bungie is increasing the amount of available mods from 2 to 4 per vendor. 
This is a great change. Mod components were just kind of annoying, and mods are not something that really need to be gate kept. Mods are not something that need to be limited in their accessibility. They should be very accessible to all players. This is a very good change. But man, my mod video is becoming more worthless every single day. <laughs> Next, again, Rahul is getting the responsibilities of the spider. Rahul will now sell planetary materials, but will also sell enhancement prisms and ascendant shards, taking over the job from the gunsmith and Ada so that they can sell their extra mods. The costs for said items are not changing at all. Also, Rahul will be able to decrypt umbral engrams in case your inventory is getting clogged up with umbrals that you just do not want to focus. If you do want to focus them, you will still need to go to the helm, but if you just want to decrypt and dismantle, you can do it at Rahul. Another great change. Late in the season, I just want to purge these things from my inventory, and being able to just go to the tower to do everything is so much more convenient than it is right now. Hawkmoon and Dead Man's Tale. The missions that drop these weapons are going away in the Witch Queen, Harbinger, and Presage. Instead of adding these guns to the Monuments to Lost Light, aka the Exotic Kiosk, these two weapons will show up as a part of Xur's inventory each weekend. They will have a random roll and cost one Ascendant Shard, one Exotic Cipher, 125,000 Glimmer, and 200 Legendary Shards. I guess that's how they're solving the random roll situation. Okay, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm cool with that. Exotic Catalysts for Hawkmoon, Dead Man's Tale, and Agar's Scepter will be moved to playlist activity completions starting in The Witch Queen. Three more Catalysts are being added to playlist activities as well. The Fourth Horseman, Outbreak Perfected, and Whisper of the Worm. I don't know why we couldn't have seen these a whole hell of a lot earlier, but there you go. The secret mission catalyst will just be dropping from the Strike, Crucible, and Gambit playlists starting in the Witch Queen. Finally, the raid. The raid will be dropping on March 5th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That is 1800 UTC or your regional equivalent. That is Saturday for you North Americans. Most of you, any, all of you? I'm not really up to date on my time zones. Overwhelming majority of you, I would assume. That is one hour after reset. Again, that is one hour after reset, not at reset. This is basically the same time frame as Deepstone Crypt, which means there should be plenty of time to level and get ready. There will be contest mode. There will be more information in a future update. Actually, jokes, we're not done. We actually have some Iron Banner and Bounty news before the end. First of all, there will be one more Iron Banner before the end of the season. It will be during the final week of this season, season 15. Iron Banner bounties will not disappear at the end of the season, but they will not reward anything above 1350 power. So if you are saving them, it will be purely an experience points based play. They will be removed at the end of season 16, if you're still holding them by then, I don't know why you would, but yeah. Saladin is getting a vendor rework in Season 17, I guess. Season 12, 13, 14, and 15 bounties will all be removed at the end of this season. Bounties from the Tangled Shore will be removed at the end of this season. Some daily bounties will be removed at the end of the season, depending on objective or reward balancing. For example, some Drifter and Gunsmith bounties will be looked at alongside some vendor work. Bungie is also tinkering with Gambit in Season 16, which we'll get more info on in a future update. Okay, solid news update. Slight disappointment with no auto dismantle blues, but it's still pretty good. Otherwise, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.